Yeah. This so, looks like a swamp thing, like a sort of, like it just bubbled up from some great primordial ooze and it's like, but, here it is. Why does it have to, what does it have to look like? It's a car, it's got four wheels and headlights, you know, who cares where they put them? It, it looks the same <laughs> coming or going. Yeah, there you go. I know what the conclusion on this is going to be, that we found the juke to be a car. This is four guys in a Nissan Juke. SL, all-wheel drive. That's right. And Don't it's a uh, turbo. Yeah, it's got the turbo. It's Tur got turbo power. Turbo power. Four it, cylinders. Is that what you tell your friends when you got when you pull up with a juke? You're like, yeah, it's got the turbo. No well, big deal. Just bragging. Well, they they, <laughs> they all have the turbo. So yeah, I, I know. I mean, that, if you're if you're a juke owner, you are bragging, right? You just yeah. It's got a turbo. This is a what you might consider a uh, sport utility vehicle. <laughs> wow. And, um, wow. No, I mean for for what it is, I kind of like it, but it really is quite small. I uh, if I don't recline the seat, if I recline the seat, Brian dies, and if I don't recline the seat, my head is jammed against the ceiling. So now, again, for like the umpteenth time, I'm six and a half feet tall, but still, um, this is designed. Uh, primarily for small people, I think. Now, what a lot of enthusiasts complain about is that if you want all-wheel drive, you can only get it with a CVT transmission, which doesn't really offend my sensibilities. Uh, Brian's probably back there with a vein popping out of his forehead at the mere mention of those my three neck. letters. My neck, as a matter of fact. Yeah. No, I, you know what? Nissan does the best CVTs. The best. But it's like saying, you know, Tim Hortons does the best coffee. One of the things that is really nice about the Juke is it has a ton of tech inside. It's got, you know, push button start, heated seats. Uh, this one's a fully loaded one with leather navigation. Uh, my favorite thing though is the D mode, they call it. And um, it, has, <laughs> really? it has switches. It has switches. Pardon the, uh, the, the laughing, but it has switches, uh, climate and D mode. And you hit climate and you can. Um, access all of your AC buttons and you've got D mode which gives you all your performance things like um, your sport mode and your setup but it uses the same buttons same buttons but with the switch those buttons activate something else yeah because in a small car like this you need like your buttons need all the help they can get it's very efficient yeah your very buttons efficient. are doing double duty yep. in D mode so pricing on the juke starts at just over 20 goes to just under 30. I think it's yeah. reasonable for what you get. No, it's you know it's small, but there's a there's a real movement right now uh, where you're getting small but better appointed, uh, even marginally luxurious vehicles. And if you look at uh, Cadillac and Buick, they're certainly going that way. You know, even Mercedes. You know, they've got the B class. Talking about the B class again. Um, but you're getting small vehicles that have a decent amount of luxury in them. And this is it's very well made. I mean, it's a Nissan. You know, it's it's going to have. Uh, um, good quality materials, good build, and it's compact. So if you need something small as a quick little city runabout, you're not compromising on on overall vehicle quality. But you know, starting at like 20 grand, this car is, it doesn't seem like the best value in the say. I mean, there's other cars out there like the Subaru Impreza, it's about the same price. Roomier inside, but probably you... bigger trunk. But what you're paying for in the Juke is like, this quirky, weird style, and that those like uh, nifty little uh, D mode, all those button buttons, buttons, yeah, things. So I don't know. I mean, you have to decide if it's worth it for you. Okay, here's one thing that's really nice about it. If you have a family, is uh, although it may not have crazy ground clearance, it is quite tall. Um, so the child seat in the rear will be quite a bit higher than reaching down into many vehicles which uh, which ride quite a bit lower. So the your ability to just deal with children is greatly improved. Mike, you were saying this is a car for like people with families and little kids, but these back doors are so tiny, it would be so hard to get a child seat in here. Kids They'd are let small. Alone, like a kicking no. and screaming little. The the seats are so big these days that you're gonna you're gonna. This would be a real tight fit back here. Well, it's for small people. This is yeah. Okay, that's it. So that's it. It's a car, and it's for small people. It's yeah. It's not really a family car. It's for people who like have friends, not kids.
It's like Neapolitan, <laughs> not vanilla. Do you get it? Yes. No. Never mind. I think no. it's more like pistachio. <laughs> some people love it, and some people despise it. Yeah. This is a bucket of pistachio ice cream. Mm-hmm.